Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me again for another video. Today I'm actually reviewing some Vogue sunglasses and it has been six years, I went and checked, since I have done a Vogue review. The quality was like 360p at that time, so yeah, we've really come a long way. I think the quality's maybe not as good as it could be, but it sure doesn't leave as much to be desired, so I guess we can feel proud about that. Today I'm reviewing the VO5411S sunglasses. You will have seen them in the beginning, but here they are again. And I really hope you enjoy this. Let's get started. These sunglasses fit the bill for exactly what I was looking for. I've been perusing the Vogue official site on and off over the last couple of weeks and I've noticed that they have a lot of like new arrivals, I think 2020 models, that are square and butterfly, but each one has its own little flair, I feel like, that sets it apart from the others. And these have this sort of like extra square detail here, like where the brows meet, so I think that looks really nice. And I think it especially works because this frame isn't too large. If this was like 58, 60 millimeter lenses, I feel like it would look way too big and too bold for maybe an everyday look, but these being 54 millimeter lens width, I feel like really are suitable for a variety of different face sizes and uh, would kind of uh, create an oversized look on a lot of different people. So uh, I really, really like that. These are nice and lightweight. These are made of nylon. The official site says propionate slash nylon, but they feel like um, nylon with a slight like laminated overlay to me. The uh, weight is very similar to a Ray-Ban New Wayfair. If you want something for reference. Um, these are a set of 54 millimeter lens width and the bridge is 18 millimeters. And then they also have these three barrel um, basic metal hinges. I'm not sure what these are made of. It's been, I always try to provide um, materials when I can, but it's often really hard to figure out uh, from Luxottica or Safala what the materials are, um, whereas it's a lot easier with independent companies. But um, overall, these are pretty good. I've seen them used a lot and they seem especially sturdy in this pair for being so lightweight. They're pretty smooth and even tensioned. So there's no quality issues at all. And I, I really like how you can see the hinge set into the frame there. So you know it's got kind of a good like, I don't know, foothold, is that the right word? I don't know. It's in there pretty good. And I feel like um, they're, the hinges are nice and sturdy for being so lightweight. This frame is feather light. I can hardly even tell when I'm holding them, let alone wearing them. And these are especially nice for me because I was looking for something that wouldn't exacerbate a headache or uh, light sensitivity. You know, when your eyes are so sensitive, then you, you really feel stuff. You know, your glasses, your like any headbands or hair ties, it's just all too much. So these are perfect for that because they are extremely lightweight. But at the same time, they've got like a good I don't know, a good grip and they don't feel like they're gonna go anywhere. So these would be really good for extended wear. So these uh, lenses are dark gray and they're not polarized, but I feel like they're sufficiently dark and I don't, I'm not where I can go out into the sun right now because it's nighttime, but they're protecting me really well from the ring light and that says a lot. So I do feel like they're, you know, plenty dark for non-polarized. And real quick, I wanted to show you the case. Sorry, it's really noisy, but the case is very, um, it's better than I remember, honestly. It is a rigid clamshell zip around style. And it's like, you can kind of, you know, push on it a little bit, but overall it's hard. It's, you know, structured enough that I feel like it would really protect the sunglasses and a handbag. So uh, I think that, again, this is really good value for everything that you get. You get the cleaning cloth and then Luxottica brochure. So I think it's a really good deal. Lastly, I wanted to say that, you know, Vogue, I feel like is not purchase as much as other things at Sunglass Hut. Um, I feel like people probably look at it and think, well, why is this so cheap? Is it, why is it, it's, it's too cheap. It's too cheap and I'm at Sunglass Hut, so something must be wrong. No, I don't think anything's wrong. I think that they just, you know, have lower um, tiered brands for people just for affordability purposes. I mean, this I would compare to Ralph by Ralph Lauren. You know, the materials are the same. The prices are really similar. And I think that they just want something that is easier for some people to afford. And Luxottica makes them all at the end of the day, really. So I don't really think the materials are that much different from um, other brands that you would get. And in my experience with selling 
a lot of these brands, they're really not that much different. Also, uh, other brands that are like independent or like brands that we're seeing in stores and, you know, boutiques and stuff like uh, Blenders comes to mind. Blenders are, you know, $50, $60 at least. And then Key, Key I think has raised their prices and Lespecs, which I used to frequent a lot. Those prices have skyrocketed in my opinion. I don't know what's going on over there, but um, an average pair of their like, you know, polycarbonate sunglasses, just fashion glasses used to be around like 60 to 70 dollars and now some of those are like well over a hundred so i don't know what's going on but all things considered what you get here the fact that you could go to your sunglass hut or whatever and pick these up and get a nice case and everything that you get with them i think that it's pretty good deal if even if you paid 70 dollars and you paid full price so um that second half my mouth is definitely falling down the stairs i hope you're able to still get something out of that uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below and I will see you next time. Thanks so much.